Welcome to a second video on the conic section, the parabola. The goal of this video is to write the general form of a parabola in standard form and also to graph the parabola. Let's go ahead and do a quick review from the last video. If we have a parabola in standard form where the x part is being squared, we are going to have a vertical axis as pictured here on the left, where hk will be the vertex and the value of a will tell us the distance from the vertex to the focus and also the distance from the vertex to the directrix. And that will be enough information to find the coordinates of the focus and the equation of the directrix. And the last thing that's helpful to graph is if we sketch the lattice rectum, which is parallel to the directrix passing through the focus, this chord here will have length 4a. So that will tell us how wide or how narrow the parabola is. And lastly, if a is positive, the parabola will open up, and if a is negative, the parabola will open down. If the y part of the equation is squared, we will have a horizontal axis or line of symmetry as pictured here. The vertex is still hk and the value of a will tell us the distance from the vertex to the focus as well as the distance from the vertex to the directrix and the lattice rectum with length 4a be here. Now one thing I want to point out is when we have a vertical axis, we will add and subtract a from the y coordinate of the vertex to determine the focus and the directrix. While if we have a horizontal axis, we add and subtract a from the x coordinate of the vertex to determine the focus and directrix. Let's go ahead and take a look at a problem. We're given the equation of a parabola in general form. We want to write it in standard form and then graph it. Notice there is an x squared term, so we're going to have all the x terms on the left and everything else on the right. Notice that's already been done for us. So let's go ahead and rewrite this so we can complete the square on the x part. So we're going to take half of 8 and then square it. That would be 4 and then square it would be 16. If we add 16 on the left, we have to add 16 on the right. This is now a perfect square trinomial. It will be the quantity x plus 4 squared equals, on the right we'll have 4y plus 8. Now we still have to factor the right side. Let's go ahead and do that. 4 times the quantity y plus 2. Okay, so we already noticed that the x part was being squared, so we have a vertical axis as we see here. Next, the x coordinate of the vertex would be negative 4 if we see x plus 4. And if we see y plus 2, the y coordinate would be negative 2. 4a must equal 4, which implies that a equals 1. If a is positive, we know the parabola will open up, again as pictured here. And we also know the distance from the vertex to the focus and the distance from the vertex to the directrix will equal 1. Let's go ahead and take this information over to the next screen and make a nice graph. So the vertex is negative 4, negative 2. That's one point on the parabola. Now we know this parabola opens up, so the focus will be one unit up from the vertex coordinates of the focus would be negative 4, negative 1. Next, the directrix would be one unit below the vertex, so that would be here, and it would be the horizontal line passing through that point. This equation would be y equals negative 3. So we know the parabola opens up and will look something like this, but we're not really sure how wide the parabola will be. Well, remember, if we sketch the lattice rectum, which which passes through the focus parallel to the directrix, it has length 4a, 4 times 1 would be 4. So we'll sketch a chord 4 units long, like this, and the endpoints of this must be on the parabola. So now we know the parabola also passes through this point and this point. And that should be enough information to make a nice graph of this, where it passes through these three points. Now, of course, we could find additional points by making a t-table, but we did all of this with a minimal amount of calculations. And if you can make sense of why the focus is here and why the directrix is here, we don't have to worry about memorizing all of these different formulas and rules to determine where these key components are located. Let's go and take a look at one more. Notice now we have a y squared term, so we'll put the y terms on the left and everything else on the right, which has already been done for us. Let's set this up so we can complete the square. Half of 
half of two squared, that'd be one squared, that'd be one. So we'll add one here and we'll add one to the right side. This is now a perfect square trinomial. It would be the quantity y plus one squared equals, on the right side we only have eight x. Now that may look a little confusing, so what we could do to make it look more like standard form is rewrite it as the quantity y plus one squared equals eight times the quantity x minus zero. We don't have to do that, but if it helps, we can. So it's going to have a horizontal axis of symmetry, as we see here, where the vertex will have the coordinates zero, negative one, and since 4a must equal 8, implies that a equals 2, since a is positive, the parabola will open to the right. If a was negative, it would open to the left. So again, from this information, we should be able to make a nice graph of this parabola. Let's go ahead and try it on the next screen. So again, here's our vertex. We know a is equal to 2. We already determined we have a horizontal axis of symmetry and that it opens to the right. So let's go ahead and sketch the vertex, zero, negative one. If we know the parabola opens like this, the focus will be to the right of the vertex. So we'll add two units to the x coordinate to find the focus. So this would be two, negative one. So that means our directrix would be two units to the left of the vertex. So it would be a vertical line passing through this point. Well, that would be x equals negative two. So in order to find some additional points on this parabola, we can sketch the lattice rectum passing through the focus parallel to the directrix. The length of the lattice rectum would be four a or four times two, that would be eight units. So we'll sketch a chord four units above and four units below this focus. So it would start at three and go down to negative five just off the screen. And the endpoints of this chord would be two points on the parabola. So it would be here and here. And that should be plenty of information to make a nice graph. Like here. Either half would be symmetrical, something like this. Okay, that'll do it for this video. I hope you found these examples helpful. If you found that I graphed these too quickly in this video, you might want to watch part one because we do go over the graphing in much more detail. Thank you for watching.